Yeah. Um, okay, guys, today I want to talk a little bit about this this new program we got coming out called High Performance Hypertrophy. Um, we do have the Limitless Challenge coming up, um, and there are multiple multiple programs available during the Limitless Challenge. Um, it's not a one size fits all thing. Obviously, we are all in different places. We all have different experience. We're all looking for different things. Um, and this challenge in particular is not just about like fitness and, and calories and fat loss and all that kind of stuff. It's very much a, a kind of like healthy, healthy mind, healthy body kind of kind of challenge. That said, of course, there are different programs that are going to appeal to different people and that we're going to apply different stresses and uh, different challenges that will you know appeal to different people and, and high performance hypertrophy is going to be a very specific program that is going to appeal to a very specific uh, portion of the community um, so i want to talk a little bit today about what it's about who, who it's for what you can expect from it uh, and what you would need uh kind of physically the tools you would need but also kind of the experience you would you would need to be able to kind of endure this program successfully because like I said, it's it's not for everybody. Uh, there is something for everybody, but this program specifically is, again, for a, for a specific kind of demographic. Um, so broadly speaking, the program itself, if, if we were to define it, it would be a hybrid program that is designed to increase strength, induce hypertrophy, and elevate conditioning. Now, I know that sounds like a lot in one program, um, and, you know, People are going to say, well, why are you trying to do everything at once? Why don't you focus on one thing and, uh, and not on the other? And you would get better results if you just, you would get stronger if you just did strength and you would get better muscle growth if you just did hypertrophy and you'll get better conditioned if you just did conditioning. Uh, and there's certainly an argument for that, but there is a very strong reason why we are doing this program in the way that we are doing it and why I believe um, for a lot of people, it's going to be not only a, a very successful program, but a very appealing program program to a lot of people um you know using myself as an example like a lot of people who are kind of in my position so i guess the question first of all is why this program uh why did i build it the way i built it why does it exist what what is the need for it uh what, what value does it have uh now one of the one of the main things about it um is i, I i've done a lot of kind of like what you would call kind of GPP or you know CrossFit type hybrid programs, where you're mixing in a lot of stuff, throwing it together, um, and trying to become the ultimate human being. <laughs> if you know what I mean, mm -hmm. it's like I want to be a superhero. I want to be able to do everything, so I'm going to throw the kitchen sink at it. Um, I found that most of these types of program have left me feeling somewhat burnt out uh, because they apply too much of a specific kind of stress uh, that overloads my, my system and leaves me kind of like done. Mm -hmm. um, so I wanted to build something that, that doesn't, doesn't do that, firstly. Uh, and I wanted to build something that is more broadly applicable for a, a broader kind of base of the community. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, like I said in the description, there is a certain amount of strength, there is a certain amount of hypertrophy, and there is a certain amount of conditioning. What there isn't a lot of is very high skilled movements. So although this program is dense, it is not overly complicated. It does not require a very, very high skill set. There are some slightly more technical movements. For example, there is a power clean in there, a power clean and jerk. Um, there are some athletic type lifts, uh, but there are no kind of full Olympic lifts uh, in there. Um, there are no kind of like, you know, double unders, any, anything that requires like a high skill level that you mm -hmm. would need to like specifically learn a skill for and spend time learning that skill. That isn't in there. It's a lot of kind of basic movements, um, some sprints, um, compound lifts, uh, isolation lifts, um, stuff that most people who have a, a degree of training history can do. Um, it's just put together in a way that is, like I said, um, fairly high volume, uh, fairly high intensity at times. Um, it will be very challenging at times, but it is not overly, overly skillful, overly difficult to actually perform 
um, any of the any of the tasks that are asked of you. Although mentally it will be challenging uh, in terms of what skills you need. You don't need too many. Um, so I want to avoid people burning out. Um, I want to avoid like any kind of like high risk injury. There are no, like I said, there's no like overly complicated movements. Um, I want this program to be more about health, more about longevity, um, uh, and also a lot to do with uh, motivation and, and mindset. Now, for someone like myself, and for you know a lot of my clients, a lot of people who are kind of in, in my position, I'm 40. Two, I believe, right now. I, I always forget that I'm 42, 43, 41, but I believe I'm 42. I always get the ages wrong as well. Yeah. I'm 31 now. Like, the, more, the older you get, the, the, less the, the less the years seem to mean. It doesn't matter but, anymore. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, as, as a 42-year-old man who's kind of done you know, like most things in the gym, I have come to the realization that I can't just do one thing. Like I've done like just a bodybuilding program and I've done just a strength training program and I've done just conditioning programs. And it's not that they don't work um, physically, it's that mentally I lose interest or I lose motivation or I lose inspiration or I don't feel great. Mm -hmm. um, I need that broader spectrum uh, to kind of keep me uh, where I need to be mentally and physically. Um, I wanna be able to move, I wanna feel strong, um, I want to maintain as much lean muscle tissue um, as I can uh, and build some if I can, even at, at 42 and, and obviously clean, whatever that means. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I, uh, I have found in the past that other programs either it has made me lose weight that I didn't want to lose or lose muscle that I didn't want to lose or like I said before, just kind of left me generally feeling kind of burnt out. So, you know, I wanted to build a program that is very structured. If, if you guys ever follow my program, you know that it's it's always structured. Uh, probably to some people, it's like, oh my god, when is he going to break the cycle? Uh, <laughs> and like most cycles I do, it's 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 a it's three week cycles. So for the for the limitless challenge, it will be two three week cycles. Obviously, both of those three week cycles are difficult, although one builds upon the other. Um, so the three week uh, cycle is very structured. Um, you are as always, uh, experiencing progressive overload as you go, as in the weight gets heavier or the load gets more or, you know, the reps get higher, um, whatever, whatever it may be that you're working on on that day. But it's a very thought out, structured uh, program that, that covers a lot of bases. Um, so 